Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rants, powered by Come On Now, the podcast. I am your host, Rudy Rodriguez Shomont, and I have a rant to get off my chest before we kick off Thursday Night Football and Colorado versus North Dakota State. Angel Reese has announced her new podcast, Unapologetically Angel. You know what I find funny about that title? is that the only person who's allowed to be unapologetic is Angel Reese. Because let anyone else be unapologetically themselves when they discuss her or any other topic is forbidden. I cannot be unapologetically myself because if I really go unapologetically about what I might think of her game in basketball, I'd probably get kicked off of YouTube. And that's the problem. I have complimented her many, many times. But I've also been critical of her game, right? This is an example of why I am critical of her game. I want you to take a listen to this for what Angel Reese announces about her podcast. Hey, y'all, so I'm super excited to be announced to our podcast, Unapologetically Angel. I'm looking forward to this so much. Y'all going to see y'all favorite celebrities, actress, artists, um, anybody that y'all want to see. We're going to be spilling the tea from our voice, our narrative, our perspective. But for the blogs, which y'all think y'all clocking tea, y'all not clocking no tea because we're going to spill the tea on our, our real lives, period. Make sure y'all follow on all my social media platforms, Unapologetically Show on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all that. Make sure y'all follow to stay up to date. Every Thursday we drop it. We we drop a tea. We drop a tea every Thursday. So I'm looking forward to this. I'm super excited. Let me know what y'all want to see. The questions y'all got from my perspective, from my voice, unapologetically, Angel. Hey. I can only laugh. This I, this is laughable. This is laughable. You can't even. I can't take this serious. Like, bro. I know Draymond Green has a podcast. Mookie Betts has a podcast. I didn't even know he had a podcast. I just read that he had a podcast. LeBron James has a podcast. Well, he doesn't anymore because his podcast was with J.J. Reddick. Michael Parsons has a podcast, for which his own teammate went after him about it, which was a little bit out of pocket, but Travis Kelsey. Those guys are all superstars. Those guys have all made it. They've all arrived. What the freaking hell is going on here when we have a rookie in the middle of her first season announcing a podcast, we're going to drop all the tea, we're going to spill all the tea before you can, we're going to have celebrities, artists, all that stuff. Why would I give a shit? I know there are people who will, but why would I give a shit or care about a podcast about celebrities and artists when the real podcasts like i don't know podcast p with paul george kevin Gar- well kevin garnett doesn't play anymore but even draymond green these guys are talking about their sport they're talking about hooping they're not talking about i mean maybe there are times i don't remember seeing paul george having a, a rapper on his podcast or uh, I don't even know. Maybe I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. But you know what Paul George is? He's been in the NBA for a, for a decade. He's making him a gazillion dollars. He's a, a top 20 player in the league. Angel Reese is sitting here dropping a podcast. And let's see here. She says every Thursday, right? They have nine games left, I think. It drops the fifth. The first one drops the fifth. She has a game on the sixth. She has a game on the third. One is in Vegas. One is in Chicago. She has a game then on the 11th, which is a Wednesday. She has a game on the 13th, which is a Friday. One is in Chicago. One is in Minnesota. Then she has another game on the 17th in Atlanta and another game on Thursday, for that matter, in Connecticut. I get you can record a podcast from anywhere. I get it. I get it. I get it. 
People don't think you can make a freaking layup. People question your skill. People say you are selfish. Hell, I've said I don't I question your skill. I've said you can't make a layup. I've said you're selfish. I've said a lot of these things. And I am not the only one. Your game is sloppy. You play hard on one side, which is rebounding, and then you overshoot the ball, and you can't shoot, and you can't make buckets, and you want to do a podcast during your rookie season. I can't. Honestly, I cannot wait to see the clips from this. I'm not going to watch this podcast, but I will check out the the, the Facebook t- by lines and the Instagram lines and the Twitter li- X lines and all that stuff. TikTok. What are we doing, man? I, I look. I we have a podcast here. None of us are current. We're not professional athletes. Nick was one. He doesn't play anymore. Nothing can come good of this endeavor right now. She's more worried about dropping tea than she is playing ball. This is what people think. People think that all you care about is your brand, not your actual craft. You're not an actress. You're not a rapper. You're not a singer. You think you're a model, but not in the world of real models. What are we doing? You're a basketball player. And I'm not saying that basketball players can't have different ventures. You have enough endorsements. Why are we dropping a podcast during season? Why is this announced during season? Why wouldn't this happen after the season? Why wouldn't this be something that you're doing after, in the off season, where it's not interfering with your actual profession? Because if Angel Reese stops playing basketball today, all those endorsements... They're gone. They're gone. Her entire portfolio is based on basketball. Her entire portfolio is based on what she did at LSU, what she's doing right now in the WNBA. It's got nothing to do with anything else. If she doesn't have that platform to play ball, nobody is going to care. All of those endorsements, Reebok will say bye-bye. All of them are going to say bye because they have no use for someone who's not playing ball. You are endorsing a product. You're not Tyra Banks doing Victoria's Secret or one of the different makeup lines that she may have been, been an endorser for. And she was actually a professional model. Professional models, it's different. Every woman now thinks that she's a model. Every woman takes these modeling photos. You have no idea what those women go through. The, the diets they live on, because they're not thick. They're usually slim as hell. She fits the height, but they're slim as hell. For the most part. The modeling that really pays dollars, yeah. This is an example of it's all about me, it's all about me, and it's all about me. Whoever thought that this was a good idea in her camp really, really, really shit the bed here. This is not a good idea for a rookie basketball player. She says enough dumb shit. She says enough stuff in press conferences and interviews that she shouldn't say. I can only imagine what she will say on this podcast. It is going to be a situation that is going to create nothing but headache for her. Because guess what? All the podcasts and commentary that already comes her direction from her below average basketball skills on offense and the fact that her team cannot win games and she shoots under 39, 39% now for the season as a 6-3 forward, it will get worse. You're going to provide f- content. I can't even imagine. I, I'm, 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 
there's gonna be stuff that's gonna pop off from this podcast that's gonna that she's gonna regret. She's gonna regret it. She's uh, she's gonna regret what doing this because she's too young to control her mouth. Anthony Edwards right now just called the players from the '90s skillless guys that have no skill. He's 24 and he doesn't have a podcast. He just said it. You have your own podcast. You already have X. You have Instagram. You got Facebook. You got TikTok. You got a thousand different places that you can give your, give it from you. You want to have a podcast to give it from you, you, where you're sitting there talking for two hours about what who knows what i guess she'll invite megan the stallion and cardi b and they'll have a conversation of stuff that will make you feel like you've gotten stupider after you left the freak after you stopped watching there's a movie what, what was that movie um with adam sandler's where he gives an answer and is we're all dumber for having listened to you uh, yeah i can venture to guess that's probably what we're gonna feel but people will feel like after watching an interview with, with Angel Reese and Cardi B or Angel Reese and Megan the Stat or Angel Reese and whoever and her little crew of whatever. You're a professional basketball player. Newsflash, I hate the Draymond Green podcast. I think it's a terrible idea. If you're playing pro ball, you shouldn't have a podcast. You have too many things that you got to worry about. And and for Draymond Green, you're making $25 million. For Paul George, you're making 40 plus $50 million. What what do, you, what do you need a podcast for? So you can give your perspective with your vast education in so many different topics? There's one guy. There's one guy right now who figured it out. One. And it took having the perfect guest to figure it out. And the way he presents it is different than everybody else. Shannon Sharp in Club Shay Shay, figured it out. The interviewing session, all that stuff. That's he's he's created a talk show, and he actually asks questions and lets them talk. If your goal is to ask questions and let people talk, then you're you're cool, you're good. But if you have to talk a lot, if you have to speak, filling the tea, I already I already know what that means. I already know what's coming. It's going to look like some of these other podcasts where people just say stuff they shouldn't say, especially in the position that she's in as a professional basketball player. Because realistically, the only thing that people truly care about, he listen to Angel Reese talk about, is basketball. I don't why do I why do we care about her opinion on on I don't care about her opinion on politics. And she at least was smart enough in an interview to not answer that ridiculous question where the guy was trying to get her to make a public endorsement of a candidate, which I thought was a disgraceful that he tried to do that to her. That was foul because she's a young woman. Like she thick girl's not following politics. She's 22 years old. There's no 22 year old that really follows politics. So you just want her to give a public endorsement of somebody just because? Why are you even asking that? You're doing a basketball interview at practice. Don't do that to her. She didn't deserve that. She didn't deserve that type of question. Whatever she thinks, I don't even care. But she doesn't deserve that question. End of the day, these types of podcasts, just based on what she said, I already know what's going to be coming. It's going to be a certified poop show. And a lot of stuff that's going to be said, I I can't even. They're going to have to do a lot of editing. A lot of editing. Because I can't imagine that thing is going to. LeBron didn't do one for 20 plus years. And then he strategically did one because he knew he wanted to hire J.J. Redick. Not a good idea. Not in my opinion. And it also shows that she just doesn't care about basketball. End of the day, your job is to play hoop, play ball. And if you lose ball, 
the endorsement that you had, Reese's Pieces, Reebok, you name the different company. They have no need for you. They have nothing for you. There's nothing for you. You might be a celebrity person now, but it's only because of basketball. That's just my opinion. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I doubt it, though. I've seen professional athletes lose endorsements for less. We've seen people lose endorsements over a lot less than words in a podcast. Guys lose endorsements all the time we never know about. They lose them all the time because what they're doing publicly does not fit that brand. It doesn't fit the brand. You're going to jump on a podcast with rappers and actors and whatever the hell else. It's, what does spilling tea mean? It, it, all that is is gossip girl crap. It's like real housewives of whatever. Basketball wives or other. That's gossip nonsense. I think she's making a big mistake for herself. But I think she's also proving to everyone that said she doesn't care about basketball. She doesn't care about being better because she's going to be recording podcasts while she could be in the gym hooping, getting better, working on her post game, working on her ability to shoot a basketball. And I know, granted, it's only going to be during this time, one, two, three weeks of her season here. But what about next year? What about next year? Bad timing, in my opinion, bad idea, as her team is in a free fall. That's all I got. Let me know your thoughts on this. What do you think of this podcast idea from Angel Reese and the fact that it's coming out during the season? There's no other rookie, by the way, that has a podcast in any sport. So when you mentioned Mookie Betts and, and Draymond and Paul George and LeBron, and these guys have been making a boatload of money, and they are well-established in their sports. They're not babies in the sport who already have a question marks all over them for their lack of not effort on the floor, but their lack of work ethic off the floor. She spent three weeks in the break, her branding herself, not actually getting better in basketball. As you see, her shooting percentage since the break is under 30% or around 30%. That's all I got. Let me know what you think. Come on.